gate 2021 so this year's gate examination is being organized by indian institute of technology bombay there are a few updates regarding it they have changed the question pattern they have relaxed the eligibility criteria and the syllabus has been revised let's get to see about them now i am on the official gate 2021 page here let's see a few highlights the dates of gate 2021 examinations have been announced and they have clustered into two groups that is they have uh, the first cluster is from 5th to 7th february and the second cluster is from 12th to 14th february they have made few changes to the examination pattern and uh, the syllabus has been revised we will be seeing about this in detail in the further portion of this video regarding the question pattern they have introduced a new section known as uh, multiple select questions the, which are abbreviated as msqs so these are nothing but the student will be provided with a question and four options not one but multiple options may be correct answer and the uh, advantage of this is it has no negative marks and uh, it also has a disadvantage if you answer the question partially there will be no marks provided to you and uh, another announcement this year is that uh, student can attend two papers that is the student can write gate exam for two different subjects and they have uh, particularly mentioned a combination combo uh, which we will be discussing further and the eligibility criteria has been relaxed so the third year students are also being allowed to uh, write the gate examination and uh, the age restri restriction has also been lifted off that is there is no age rest uh, restriction for writing gate examination one other main thing is that they schedule the gates and everything is subjected to covid 19 decision made by government for any other updates do refer the official website provided over here it is the gate iit bombay dot ac dot in now let's see the important dates the students can apply for gate 2021 through gops that is gate application processing system from 14th september to 30th september of this year 2020 and of course with the late fee you can uh, apply till 13th november the dates are as we mentioned and uh, the result is expected to be released by 22nd march and as i said it is totally subjected to the covid 19 pandemic situation regarding the papers uh, students are allowed this year to attend two different papers based on the combination so here as far as uh, aerospace engineering is concerned the primary paper has to be aerospace engineering and uh, the secondary paper can be XE. XE stands for Engineering Sciences. So, Engineering Sci Sciences syllabus is uh, provided over here. The student can attend uh, either one or two papers. So, here, uh, here there, is, there is also another opportunity where uh, student can choose uh, XE, that is Engineering Sci Sciences as their primary paper and uh, AE as their uh, secondary paper and the marking scheme is uh, similar that is the general aptitude carries 15 marks and uh, the main paper carries 85 marks regarding detailed information of gate 2021 you can download the information brochure from this particular link and uh, here we can see that it's getting loaded and let's get to know about the pattern of the examination there is no change in the duration that is this three hours and computer based test and uh, the type of question as i said msqs has been added and uh, the questions uh, testing capabilities are uh, particularly mentioned over here and there is a small change in engineering mathematics uh, portion where previously the engineering mathematics portion was uh, carrying 15 marks so they have reduced it to 13 marks for uh, common papers that is uh, particularly for aerospace engineering 
and uh, the marking scheme has been provided over here that is 15 for general aptitude and 85 for uh, subject marks and the total time and total marks and duration regarding the pre examination the fees has been changed it's the same as uh, last year 1500 for uh, general students and uh, these are all the uh, details which you can browse through and in particular we are interested in the eligibility criteria as i said uh, the eligibility criteria has been relaxed so they have announced third year engineering students or any other uh, course students can apply for gate 2021 and the age restriction has also been lifted off now let's get into the syllabus the syllabus for gate 2021 has been revised for almost all of the subjects so they have uh, pretty much announced it graphically so you can download the syllabus from here so this is the syllabus for general aptitude and it is common for all the papers while the core subject syllabus is provided over here which can be downloaded similarly here we can see the browser loader similarly the general aptitude syllabus this is the official syllabus and uh, this is the aerospace engineering syllabus which is getting loaded so there are a few changes in the aerospace engineering syllabus and general aptitude syllabus for gate 2020 let's see the changes so here I am on Gate Aerospace page of uh, Age of Aerospace blog. So this is a collection of Gate Aerospace notes. Now let's get into the change in syllabus. So as far as uh, engineering mathematics is concerned, here we can see this is the updated syllabus of uh, uh, engineering mathematics. So it is divided into core and uh, special topics. Uh, for revision here, we can see that uh, they have added complex analysis and uh, probability and statics these two topics have been added to the special topics category of engineering mathematics and they haven't removed any uh, uh, pre-existing topics now uh, let's get into aerodynamics so here in aerodynamics the updated syllabus is provided and uh, regarding the revision there are a few changes they have added few topics in the basic fluid mechanics so the topics such as uh, engine energy equation so in the integral and uh, differential form previously it was only the mass and momentum equation now they have also added the energy equation similarly they have added the dimensional analysis and di dynamic similarity and uh, one further topic has been added to the special topics that is the shock boundary layer interaction so this is a research topic and it is gaining interest that's why they have added it and there are few topics which have been removed the topics being removed doesn't mean that they don't exist instead they will be under some other subcategory or uh, they haven't been listed still they will be existing so under potential flow theory they have uh, removed the term viscosity and Reynolds number the Reynolds number will be coming under uh, non-dimensional numbers so it is pretty much there and uh, under compressible flows they have uh, removed the conservative equations which was pre-existing in the previous edition of the syllabus now uh, in regarding flight mechanics there isn't any change in flight mechanics still uh here we can see the syllabus and uh, as far the re revision the topics have been rearranged so rearranged means that uh, they have been shifted between the categories that is uh, here we can see the uh, angle of attack so since pressure altitude to uh, aerodynamic forces and moments these topics were uh, previously existing under uh, airplane performance so they have uh, we replace these topics uh, and uh, rearranged it to basics similarly and uh, no topics have been added neither they have been changed so space dynamics in space dynamics there are few changes in particular they have added the topics of kepler's law and escape velocity and uh, they have uh, removed the uh, May, uh, terms uh, orbit transfer in plane and out of plane so basically the orbit transfer uh, 
they does mean uh, few other things they are in comma common and they have specifically mentioned these topics so these topics have been added and uh, the special topics section has been removed now about the aircraft structures there are few tweaks and uh, yeah there is uh, no much change still uh, the terms has been reduced verbally and uh, they have added the topic three dimensional transformations initially it was stress and strain transformation so they have uh, re-termed uh, it as a uh, three dimensional transformation and regarding the verbal changes they have reduced the uh, uh, words such as uh, initially it was states of stress and strain and uh, they have reduced it as simplified it as stress and strain Still, simplification doesn't mean they are simplified. Actually, they have broadened because stress and strain may include multiple things. And uh, transformation, uh, three-dimensional transformation, initially it was a stress and strain transformation. So they have uh, redesigned it as three-dimensional transformation. And the verb, uh, I mean terms, uh, analysis uh, here, analysis of statistically determinant and uh, undetermined system has been replaced uh, the analysis term has been removed similarly the flexural shear term has been replaced with normal shear so this means that there are multiple uh, opportunities uh, of uh, different topics being included and uh, there are uh, multiple changes in propulsion so here we can see the revised syllabus and uh, regarding the revision a few topics have been specifically added like uh, they have added the Brayton cycle after burners and under axial compressor they have uh, added the multi staging of axial compressors and they have added uh, some special topics such as turbine cooling so turbine cooling compressor to turbine matching curge and stall so we can see that Brayton cycle and uh, after burners so previously it was like uh, thrust enhancing or thrust augmentation devices so instead they have specifically mentioned afterburners and few topics have been removed and uh, here we can see that axial turbine stage performance efficiency there is previously it was uh, stage efficiency of axial turbines so this has been replaced with stage performance so with the term performance multiple uh, or concepts or topics may be included inside it. So, rocket propulsion and rocket propulsion they have replaced the terms uh, such as vehicle acceleration, drag, uh, gravity losses with the performance, with the term performance. The term has changed, so this may include multiple concepts. Now, getting into the general aptitude, the general aptitude section has been elucidated. That is, uh, they have elaborated the contents of uh, the syllabus because uh, the previous syllabus was just a four line syllabus. Instead, they have provided an elaborated version of it. Mm, so, here we can see uh, the syllabus is pretty much changed. So, verbally, they have uh, removed uh, these two words, still, they are a part of uh, the major category of this topic. So here we can see that uh, the sentence completion and instructions has been removed. Still, uh, they are a part of the syllabus. And uh, previously, it was only the verbal ability and uh, numerical ability. So they have elaborated it and uh, they have explained uh, that uh, these topics will be uh, provided for the gate examination. And uh, it is also mentioned the general aptitude syllabus has been extensively updated with necessary elaborations and uh, if you require any other online support and uh, collection of resources of gate aerospace engineering material which is available for free online you can access this document so it is uh, providing multiple options which you can uh, surf through thank you